Hello everyone. In this video, we'll explore the new advanced node training features released as part of Nomad 0.8. For this video, I already have a Nomad cluster up and running. So let's list all the nodes in the cluster. So we say Nomad node status. Here we have the five nodes that are ready to be scheduled on. This output might look a bit different from the previous Nomad versions. We have a new field called eligibility that defines whether a node is eligible for scheduling or not. For this video, we'll use an example job, which is called my API. This is of type service, and we want 15 of these instances running in the cluster. We are also using the new migrate stanza that comes as part of Nomad 0.8. The migrate stanza is what tells Nomad how to actually migrate this job when a Nomad node drain event is in progress. In this case, the max parallel is set to one that tells Nomad that migrate one allocation at a time for this job. We are also setting the min healthy time to five seconds. So Nomad will wait at least five seconds before the health checks pass and then move on to the next allocation. The healthy deadline is set to three minutes the health check is set to checks. Here, Nomad will respect the checks that are defined as part of the service here. We are also setting things like CPU and memory and network. So let's run this job now. So we say Nomad run my API and immediately Nomad schedules this job in the cluster. So let's see the status. We say Nomad status my API. So here you see there's 15 desired and 15 are placed. So let's refresh this. You see four of these 15 are healthy and passing health checks. And now all of them are passing health checks. So let's actually try to go and access this My API service. So here I'm on one of the nodes in the Nomad cluster. In this example, we'll use Fabio, which is a console based load balancer to get to a My API service. So let's do a local host cold call with the host header myapi.nomad.rocks and we get an okay response back with the message hello world. So let's watch this as we go through this demo. So we'll start a while loop and watch it and set this aside. So in the window below here, we have nomad status myapi command running every two seconds. And this will kind of give us a live view for this deployment as we start draining nodes. So let's select a node for draining Let's select AC15E87B and run nomad node drain enable and we'll ignore system jobs for now and start the drain process. Nomad prompts us whether we want to drain this node. We say yes. And then nomad will select an allocation, mark it for draining and start the draining process. So you can see here is one of the allocations that stopped and a new allocation that just came up. And Nomad will also make sure the new allocations are passing health checks. So you can see on the right here, we shouldn't see any drop in traffic. So we are still seeing OK responses and the message hello world. And this will happen one allocation at a time because in our migrate stanza, we have set max parallel equals one. So let's wait for the draining process to finish. So the draining process is now complete for that node. And this is an example for the advanced node draining features that are part of the Nomad 0.8 release. Thank you.